Google have just dropped something absolutely wild and we're going to test it out together right now on this video. It's called Opal and it's built directly inside Gemini. So if you go to Gems here, you can build out new AI apps, a gem from Google Labs. So you're going to go to Gems and then you can see here new gem with the lab I create user and then click on new gem over here. And from here, you can start building out these AI apps, right? And here's what we're going to cover. So you will learn what Opal actually is and why it's different for regular gems, how to access it right now in your Gemini web app. And we're going to build actual mini apps live and test if they actually work. We'll look at some real examples of AI super gems that you can create for your business without the coding. The new visual step-by-step -step editor that shows exactly what your AI is doing, why this could replace a bunch of the pay tools you're currently using, and how entrepreneurs are using this to automate client work, content creation, lead generation. Now, this is brand new. Like it just got announced very recently within the last couple of days, and we're figuring this out in real time, right? So we're going to open up test out, see if it actually lives up to the high profits, just another shiny object and stick around because by the end of this, you're going to know exactly how to use this tool and whether it's worth your time or not. So let's get straight into this. We're going to start building this out. For example, we'll create a tool and I'm actually going to use the notes from today. These are inside the AI success lab. If you need some examples of what you can build, etc., we're going to create the first automation, which is the SEO brief content generator. All right. And so I have an SEO agency and one of the things that we do a lot for clients is we create content. And so what I want to do is build out an SEO brief content generator that takes any target keyword and creates a complete content brief, including search intent analysis, top 10 competitive breakdowns, heading structure, recommendations, word count targets, semantic keywords to include. So let's try this out in a second. And it's now currently building this out, right? And you can see this is a brand new update. So at least you got announced on December the 17th, right? Not long at all. And you can now use Opal, which was a separate website. And now you can use it inside Google Labs, like you see right here. Now it's already built out the automation, which is pretty amazing. So we've got our mini app ready to test right here. And if we click on start, we'll type in the primary keyword, like, and it's going to start conducting that deep research, as you can see. So what we got here, greeting, love from Kira, you could see it and says, Hi, Julian. Are you using currently any AI agentic browser to help you? Yes. Yeah, so if you check out the AI success lab, you'll see the automations on Claude and how to use it and the new AI browser use there. Also, if you go inside the AI success lab here as well, you can type in, for example, browser, and you can see my reviews of all the main browsers. So for example, like GenSpot, NA10, we've got a browser use agent. We have the Claude AI super agent, Manus. Quark, Perplexity, and you can see there's loads of pages of training. Each one of these is a full video breakdown with exact step-by-step -step instructions on how to use this stuff. So you can learn how to use these AI agents inside there. Okay. If you want to learn how to use Claude, we actually have a new section inside the AI success lab. So just go to more new automations too. scroll down. And these are all trainings here. This course is way more in depth than the most people's paid training, honestly. And you can see inside here, we've got a full video tutorial on how to use Claude's AI browser agent that just came out today. We've all the video notes on how to set up, et cetera. So we've got this generating the content brief. In the meantime, what we can also do is just duplicate this tab and create another gem in the background. All right. So if we go to gems, new gem, we can take another example from today. This time we are going to create the weekly content repurposing machine, right? So we'll take that. We'll plug this in and we'll start creating that too, right? So you can see how you can create like multiple apps whilst you're waiting for the others to be built. And you can just keep rinsing that over and over again. So you can potentially build or code like three different apps on the go at the same time. And it really doesn't take long at all. So we've got the SEO content brief over here. So it's given us a search intent analysis. Then it's given us a bunch of semantic keywords to include inside the content. We've got a list of our competitors. So for example, like Zapier, Jasper, Notion, etc. And then we also have the target word count based on the topic as well. The only thing that I don't like on that is like the UI is horrible, right? So we could say, okay, improve the UI of the output. So it looks more modern, clean, beautiful, right? Because the actual UI is not that nice. But the rest of it was pretty nice and that was super simple and easy to do, right? In the meantime, we've now got the content amplifier, which is the repurposing machine as we've got here. And it's automatically created each step of the automation, right? And these are real automations. We're not just like creating stuff we wouldn't use. Like this is stuff I use every single day, right? I'm always repurposing my content. So for example, if you have a look at X, like on X, we repurpose our YouTube content every day. And you can see sometimes we'll reach 200,000 people in a day. And we've got the full automation on that inside the AI for boarding. But if we go back here, you can see how to use this. So if we click on start, we can test this out. So I'm going to paste in the video transcript and I'll take a re video transcript from one of my latest videos to use this. Then we'll go back to Gemini, plug this in, hit enter, and we'll start generating that. 
for us. So now it's extracting the key points and it's generating LinkedIn posts, Twitter threads, email newsletter, and suggested video angles. And you can also see like the progress. So it gives you a percentage progress of what it's doing, right? And now it's finished. It's almost completed the last task. And then the only thing that will take a little bit of time is generating the actual web page, right? So it has to render all the information, all the outputs it's created into a full web page. So we'll wait for that to load and then it's going to start generating. And so far it's been really good. So far we've created some good stuff. For example, the SEO brief creator and also the weekly content repurposing system. I did one yesterday where I actually turned video transcripts into SAPs, right? So this basically takes transcripts, turns them into step-by-step -step operating procedures. And again, we can just take a video transcript like this, plug it in here, and we can use multiple web apps at the same time, right? So we've got this web app plus this one at the same time, generating the outputs. And then it's beginning to build out, right? You can see now whilst we're waiting for that to load, and let's talk about some limiting beliefs that hold people back. So some people say they're like not technical enough to build automation tools. Let me tell you about the marathon runner who never learned to swim. All right. There was this guy who completed a full marathon, 26.2 miles, train for miles, push through the pain, cross the finish line, but couldn't swim across the pool. And people would say like, how can you run a marathon, but not swim? Swimming is way easier, right? But here's what they missed. He never learned the basics. Nobody showed him how to flow, no, how to breathe, the simple foundational moves to make everything else possible. And that's exactly what's happening with AI automation right now. You're not technical enough. You just haven't learned the plain English framework that's making building automations like this as natural as having a conversation, right? So when Google built Opal, they specifically designed it for people who have never written code. They turned automation into a conversation, into steps you can see and understand the human language. And the real problem isn't your technical ability. The real problem is nobody showed you that automation tools can be built by just describing what you want in plain English, right? Think about it. Like you already know how to explain the process to another human. First do this, then do that. If this happens, do the other thing. And that's literally all automation is you just explain AI instead of a person. So you can see the outputs here for the automation. This is for the content repurposing. So it gave us the original long form content format, as you can see, then it created a bunch of LinkedIn posts that we could use on LinkedIn and it's generated three different LinkedIn posts automatically. It's also, for example, create Twitter threads, right? So if we pull this down, you can see there's actually created a Twitter thread for Claude's AI agent mode, right? And these are all different parts of the thread that you can paste in. And we've also got the email newsletter method, right? So it's actually created an email newsletter update based on the transcript we pasted in too. So far, we automatically created a repurposing machine that can generate Twitter threads, LinkedIn posts, long form blog content, and also email newsletters. And how easy was that? Literally, I just said, here's what you're going to do, man. And it worked perfectly first time around. So you can see how easy it is to do this stuff and how powerful it is. If you miss anything, feel free to, to replay the live stream that you're watching today. But yeah, we've already covered a bunch of cool stuff. So you can see how easy this is to do. It's super powerful. You could always add more steps in here as well. So if you wanted to generate like TikTok hooks or Instagram captions, you could. And then you can also see that it's given us YouTube video angles as well. So for example, it's given us a bunch of angles that we could use either for titles or for actually creating new content and new videos about the same topic as well and then repurposing it, right? So we could actually take clips from that original video and then, for example, use that as a title, right? Super easy and simple to do. So you can see how powerful this is. You can also download the file here, right? And this is basically your own mini app that you've generated in like one click, just based on that idea that you've got, all right? Super simple and easy. And if you go back, we've got the SAP as well that we talked about before. So we plugged in the details of agent mode and then it's turned that into a full step-by-step -step video SAP that's nicely formatted. We've got links on the left-hand side that can help us navigate between the different parts of the guide with a nice table of content. And we can also open that as an advanced editor. So if you click on open advanced editor, that will help you open up the super gem inside Google Opal. And then you can also share that app as well to people as well. So really easy to use and to build out here. All right. So if you go back to the video notes from today, I want to talk you through the method that you can use to really implement this inside your business. I've shown you a bunch of examples. I've talked you through some limiting beliefs. One of the other things that I'll say is that some people believe that if they build automations, they'll break and you won't know how to fix them. But here's a story from ancient Greece, right? The ship of thesis was rebuilt plank by plank over years. And every time a board rutted, they replaced it with a new one. Eventually, not a single original piece remained. Was it still the same? Philosophers debated this for centuries, but here's what they missed. The ship kept 
salient. And that's what matters, right? Not whether every piece stays perfect, right? But whether the system keeps working. And with Opal, you can see every step of your mini app, like you can see on the left-hand side here, right? And so if something breaks, you don't need to hire a developer. You just look at the steps, find out where it's stuck and adjust it in plain English. So if there's a step here that breaks or doesn't work, I can just type in what I want and change it inside the edit step section, right? So it's like having a recipe you can edit. If the cookies come out too sweet, you don't throw out the recipe, you just reduce the sugar, right? And the fear of things breaking only exists when you can't see what's happening. But Opal shows you exactly what's happening at every single step. And the real problem isn't that automations break, it's that most automation tools hide what they're doing. So when something goes wrong, it's stuck. Whereas this one, you can really fix it and get it working perfectly. All right. So let's talk about the Super Gems framework. This is your complete system for turning Gemini's new Opal feature into a business automation machine that saves you over 40 hours per month. No coding, no complexity, just plain English mini apps that handle all your repetitive work whilst you focus on growing your business. All right. If you want a 30 day implementation plan, what I've actually done is laid out exactly what to do in the first week. So week one foundation, you're going to access Opal and Gems Manager, explore the interface, build one simple mini app and, you know, that just takes text and reformats it. Just get comfortable with the visual editor. Then from there, identify the three most repetitive tasks you do weekly, write them down as simple step-by-step -step processes in plain English. Don't build them yet. Just document the process. And then day five to seven, build your first real mini app for your number one most repetitive task. Test it at least five times with different inputs and then adjust the steps until it works consistently, right? So that's week one. Week two is business intelligence. Week number three is the automation library. And then week number four, you can scale and optimize, right? So you can share your mini apps with the AR Profit Boarding community. You can get feedback into what the deal and you can steal ideas shamelessly if you want to from all of us inside the AR Profit Board. You can also identify which mini apps save you the most time, build variations of those, and turn your best automations into systems. And then at the end of that 30 day period, and by the way, if you want all the notes from today, it's inside the AI Success Lab. If you want to implement this stuff step by step and get the plan, by the end of it, just plan your next five mini apps based on what had the biggest impact. Schedule times each week to build and refine. And it's basically your operating system for growing your business. All right. So if you haven't seen this already, we have over a hundred pages of people winning with AI inside the AI Profit Board. So if you haven't checked this out, check it out. But basically you see here all the cool testimonials from people winning with AI. So if you want to learn how to use this stuff, check out the AI Profit Board and community because this is where we really just implement all of this stuff and cut through the noise, figure out what's working right now, figure out what's not working, and then use this stuff to start growing. So if you look across like any of my marketing platforms, for example, you see that most of them are automated and we reach millions of people per month. How do we do that? We do it because we use the systems inside the AI Profit Board room, right? So for example, if you want to know how to create avatar videos, which save me like four hours a day, right? In time, a massive amount of time. Then you can get that inside the playbook. For example, here, as you can see, if you want to get all of my best agency frameworks, and how to get clients. You can get that inside the agency course. If you want to get live coaching, help and support, you can get that inside the calendar. And if you want to share, learn and grow and win inside a community, you can post your wins and ask your questions inside the AirPod for board, right? So you can see here, for example, you can see, for example, like Darren was asking about ChatGPT and everyone just jumped in and tried to help him as much as they could, right? That's what it's about. You can see, for example, here, like Justin was asking for tips for AI avatar creation and we just all helped him out and then just gave him advice on how to do this stuff, as you can see, right? And so everything that you need help with, you get support with inside the Air Profit Board and community, along with live coaching calls where you can jump on a Zoom call and ask for help on automations, and you get all of our best playbooks inside here as well. So feel free to get that inside the Air Profit Board. I appreciate you watching.